So stopping the slice with the driver is one of the more challenging um, parts of the golf game. And because you want to hit it really far, yet hit it really straight. And so when you slice, what happens is that the path is actually left on your downswing. It actually goes to the left. Okay. So you can see my hands going backwards. This is one thing I see in a lot of golfers is that your hands go backwards. And so one of the things when I, when I teach people how to hook the ball is that I have them put their hands farther forward, tilt their shoulders to the right, get their right arm underneath their left. And now what happens is now the path is to the right. And that's always counterintuitive for people because most people say, well, if I'm going to swing to the right, I'm just going to hit it farther. I hit it farther to the right. I'm going to slice it further to the right. But it's actually the path of the swing dictates the curve. The face starts the ball. So when I do this, an example here, and I'll go ahead and set this up. So when I'm setting up to the ball, my hands are forward. I'm tilted. And I'm working on swinging the club from in to out. And that ball actually starts to hook there. It's a pretty good hook. So it's something that you could definitely work on to help fix that slice. So the hands back, huge. Um, hands forward, only feeling that the club oh, probably goes back to about left arm parallel to the ground. And then just working on extending the body. So the other part to this is the extension piece. So most people, when they swing, they're trying to turn their hips and their body. And so their, their head goes into almost like keeping their head down because they've been told to keep their head down. So that's number two. So number one, hands forward, tilt the shoulders, path is more into out. Number two is getting the feeling of tilting the shoulders and also the feeling of, okay, now my body's back. My arms are out and the face is closed to the path. So again, I'll hit one so you can start to see that. So hands forward, tilt the body, feeling this path into out and the face being closed to the path. And that gets the ball to draw. And notice here, I'm not over spinning my body. So that's super important for you to hit some really good high draws. I know that's going to help your game. If you have any questions, please don't be free, be free to send me a message. Send me a message back. So thanks again for watching and uh, look forward to hearing from you.